follow my lead. We, we, we on the road to a two. Six trust and shut up from us. No need. You can achieve what, what, you believe, what you believe. What's going on, YouTube fam? It's your boy D Rose here coming at y'all again with another video. The last video we covered the flat barbell bench press. In this video, we will be covering the incline dumbbell bench press. And if you haven't already, please take the time at, at this very moment right now and subscribe to the channel. Now, the incline dumbbell bench press, we're utilizing dumbbells in order to get a full stretch. Okay, with dumbbells, with barbell, you're limited, right? Because you can only come down to your chest. All right, but with dumbbells, you can actually come down further than your chest, right? Giving you a more full range of motion. Not really as much as about trying to build weaker points, you know what I mean? Because you may have one pack that's bigger than the next, you may be strong on your right than your left, but more so it's about being able to get a deeper range of motion. So we're gonna demonstrate that for you right now. I'm gonna grab some lighter weight. <clears throat> 25s. The setup is always the same, right? The setup is always the same. You always wanna make sure that, you know, Again, the way my feet are positioned. Turned out. My legs, well, yeah. My legs and my feet are turned outward, okay? Where I can push off of my heels more. So this is, a, this is exactly perpendicular to the floor. So that means it's at an exact 90 degree angle to the floor. It's not coming back too far. It's bam, 90 degree. I'm locked, right? You come back. Once again, shoulder blades retracted, chest is expanded, all right? And now oftentimes you see in the gym, right, guys, they'll have big dumbbells and they'll come right here. You know, it'd be like this and, you know, just like that. We call those partials. I used to do them too, if you look at some of the videos. <laughs> um, that, doesn't, that doesn't mean that they don't have merit. They do if you can use heavier weight at times, but just know the difference between actually going through a full range of motion and a partial. All right, the correct way that you do this movement is, honestly, your hands should not be, and in, in, your hands should be at a diagonal. It really shouldn't be straight like this, horizontal. It should be at a diagonal. So when you come down, remember, your shoulder blades are retracted, chest is expanded. When you come down, you're coming down to here, as opposed to, if your arms are straight, if it's vertical, you're only right here. This is deeper than this. This is a partial. This is a full range of motion, all right? Up all the way. You don't have to click them. You know what I mean? That's an old school thing, but have them on a the diagonal. Come all the way down. Get that full deep stretch and range of motion and back up. All right, and the reason why you wanna do this is because that's the purpose of actually doing this movement. The purpose of doing it is to get it with a full range of motion, a deeper stretch. When you get to heavier dumbbells, the dumbbells a lot of times is gonna be so big that it gets in the way sometimes. That's another reason why it's easier for you to go with, you know, 100, 120s, bring it down close to the chest, but the dumbbells are so big that you know, you're not really going past, and if you go out too far, then it also, again, wears on your shoulders, shorter your rotator range. shaft, and it's a shorter range of motion. So again, like I said, you should be at a diagonal and come all the way down and get a deeper stretch to get that full range of motion, all right? I approach it. I got the weight resting right on my, on my legs. My feet are turned outward. My legs are, well, my, um, what is it? My calves are perpendicular to the floor. Shoulder blades retracted, chest expanded. All right, we press. Pause, press.
That's the incline dumbbell bench press. Once again, it builds the upper pecs, triceps, deltoids, and allows you to get a full range of motion and a deeper stretch. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take it easy.